In mathematics, more specifically in the field of group theory, a solvable group or soluble group is a group that can be constructed from abelian groups using extensions. Equivalently, a solvable group is a group whose derived series terminates in the trivial subgroup. Historically, the word solvable arose from Galois theory and the proof of the general unsolvability of quintic equation. Specifically, a polynomial equation is solvable by radicals if and only if the corresponding Galois group is solvable. Definition a group is called solvable if it has a subnormal series whose factor groups are all abelian, that is, if there are subgroups such that is normal in, and is an abelian group for, or equivalently, if its derived series, the descending normal series where every subgroup is the commutator subgroup of the previous one, eventually reaches the trivial subgroup 1 of G. These two definitions are equivalent, since for every group H and every normal subgroup N of H, the quotient H, N is abelian if and only if N includes H, the least N such that is called the derived length of the solvable group G. For finite groups, an equivalent definition is that a solvable group is a group with a composition series all of whose factors are cyclic groups of prime order. This is equivalent because a finite group has finite composition length, and every simple abelian group is cyclic of prime order. The Jordan-Holder theorem guarantees that if one composition series has this property, then all composition series will have this property as well. For the Galois group of a polynomial, these cyclic groups correspond to an th roots over some field. The equivalence does not necessarily hold for infinite groups. For example, since every non-trivial subgroup of the group Z of integers under addition is isomorphic to Z itself, it has no composition series. But the normal series 0, Z, with its only factor group isomorphic to Z, proves that it is in fact solvable. Examples all abelian groups are trivially solvable, a subnormal series being given by just the group itself and the trivial group. But non-abelian groups may or may not be solvable. More generally, all nilpotent groups are solvable. In particular, finite p groups are solvable, as all finite p groups are nilpotent. A small example of a solvable, non-nilpotent group is the symmetric group S3. In fact, as the smallest simple non-obelian group is A5, it follows that every group with order less than 60 is solvable. The group S5 is not solvable. It has a composition series E, A5, S5, giving factor groups isomorphic to A5 and C2, and A5 is not abelian. Generalizing this argument, coupled with the fact that N is a normal, maximal, non-abelian simple subgroup of Sn for N greater greater than 4. We see that Sn is not solvable for n greater than 4. This is a key step in the proof that for every n greater than 4 there are polynomials of degree n which are not solvable by radicals. This property is also used in complexity theory in the proof of Barrington's theorem. The celebrated fight thompson theorem states that every finite group of odd order is solvable. In particular this implies that if a finite group is simple, it is either a prime cyclic or of even order. Any finite group whose every piece are low subgroups is cyclic is a semi-direct product of two cyclic groups, in particular solvable. Such groups are called Z groups. Numbers of solvable groups with the order n are 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 5, 2, 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, 1, 14, 1, 5, 1, 5, 2, 2, 1, 15, 2, 2, 5, 4, 1, 4, 1, 51. 1, 2, 1, 14, 1, 2, 2, 14, 1, 6, 1, 4, 2, 2, 1, 52, 2, 5, 1, 5, 1, 15, 2, 13, 2, 2, 1, 12, 1, 2, 4, 267, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 4, 1, 50. Orders of non-solvable groups are 6. 
160, 120, 168, 180, 240, 300, 336, 360, 420, 480, 504, 540, 600, 660, 672, 720, 780, 840, 900, 960, 1008, 1020, 1080, 1092, 1140, 1176, 1200, 1260, 1320, 1344, 1380, 1440, 1500. Properties. Solvability is closed under a number of operations. If G is solvable, and there is a homomorphism from G onto H, then H is solvable. Equivalently, if G is solvable, and N is a normal subgroup of G, then G, N is solvable. The previous property can be expanded into the following property. G is solvable if and only if both N and G, N are solvable. If G is solvable, and H is a subgroup of G, then H is solvable. If G and H are solvable, the direct products G times H is solvable. Solvability is closed under group extension. If H and G, H are solvable, then so is G. In particular, if N and H are solvable, their semi-direct product is also solvable. It is also closed under wreath product. If G and H are solvable, and X is a G set, then the wreath product of G and H with respect to X is also solvable. For any positive integer n, the solvable groups of derived length at most n form a subvariety of the variety of groups. As they are closed under the taking of homomorphic images, subalgebras, and products, the direct product of a sequence of solvable groups with unbounded derived length is not solvable. So the class of all solvable groups is not a variety. Burnside's theorem. Burnside's theorem states that if G is a finite group of order where P and Q are prime numbers, and R and B are non-negative integers, then G is solvable. Related concepts. Supersolvable groups as a strengthening of solvability. A group G is called supersolvable if it has an invariant normal series whose factors are all cyclic. Since a normal series has finite length by definition, uncountable groups are not supersolvable. In fact, all supersolvable groups are finitely generated, and an abelian group is supersolvable if and only if it is finitely generated. The alternating group A4 is an example of a finite solvable group that is not supersolvable. If we restrict ourselves to finitely generated groups, we can consider the following arrangement of classes of groups. Cyclic less than abelian less than nil potent less than supersolvable less than polycyclic less than solvable less than finitely generated group. Virtually solvable groups A group G is called virtually solvable if it has a solvable subgroup of finite index. This is similar to virtually abelian. Clearly all solvable groups are virtually solvable, since one can just choose the group itself, which has index 1. Hypoabelian A solvable group is one whose derived series reaches the trivial subgroup at a finite stage. For an infinite group, the finite derived series may not stabilize, but the transfinite derived series always stabilizes. A group whose transfinite derived series reaches the trivial group is called a hypoabelian group, and every solvable group is a hypoabelian group. The first ordinal alpha such that G equals G is called the derived length of the group G, and it has been shown that every ordinal is the derived length of some group.